most of the infected. It'll... It'll be tough going, but we'll make this a home. I fought so hard, but any thought of my own caused so much pain. I will do what I can to assist the colony in this difficult time. I am ashamed of the damage done to the lives of these people. I want to know more about you. There is nothing remarkable about me. I was merely one of Matriarch Benezia's disciples. For nearly two centuries I followed her, learning at her feet. When Benezia revealed her plan to join Saren, she gave her disciples a choice. Only those who were willing had to follow her. Many felt her plan was too dangerous. But I believed in her. I thought she could turn Saren away from his insanity. Instead, we joined him in it. I want to know more about Benezia. Benezia was greatly respected among our people. A powerful biotic, even for an Asari. She was widely known as a teacher of philosophy and religion. She always sought the paths of peace and harmony. She joined with Saren because she hoped to turn him away from his path of destruction. Instead, she became one of his most powerful allies. As I mentioned before, Matriarch Benezia underestimated Saren. Be sure you do not make the same mistake. What else can you tell me about Saren? There is little I could tell you that you do not already know. He's powerful, he's charismatic, and he is dangerous. Once I followed him, blind to his true nature. But now I see he's leading the galaxy into an age of darkness and suffering. Tell me more about this ship Saren has. Sovereign is alien. I do not know how it was built or where it comes from. Its design does not match that of any known spacefaring species. It dwarfs any vessel in the Citadel or Alliance fleets. Its weapons are devastating. Its defenses virtually impenetrable. With it, Saren believes he is unstoppable. You said Saren uses it to manipulate his followers. The indoctrination. There is an energy about Sovereign. You feel drawn to the ship. It makes Saren's arguments more persuasive, more compelling. Spend enough time in Sovereign's presence and you will lose yourself. There is no other way to explain it. Farewell, Shiala. Farewell, Commander. I wish you well in your hunt. Stand by, shore party. Decontamination in progress. Decontamination in progress. Are you okay, Commander? You look a little pale. It's that damn cipher. That Asari messed you up good. And for what? We still don't know where to find the stupid conduit. What a waste. The cipher is going to lead us to the conduit. I'm just not sure how yet. We still have another lead, Commander. That Asari scientist in the Artemis Tau Cluster, the Matriarch's daughter. She's an expert on the Protheans, maybe she knows something. Don't worry. We'll deal with her soon enough. Crew dismissed. I've sent off the Pharos report, Commander. You want me to patch it through to the Council? Patch him through, Joker. Setting up the link now, Commander. Commander, Exogeny should have told us about the Thorian. It would have made your job much easier. You might have been able to capture it for study instead of destroying it. Exogeny tried to study it. Look how that turned out. Perhaps it's for the best, then. At least the colony was saved. Of course it was saved. Shepard would go to any lengths to help a human colony. I never jeopardized the mission. That's good, Commander. Stopping Saren is your primary goal. Everything else is secondary. Goodbye, Commander. We will be waiting for your next report. Equalizing interior pressure with exterior atmosphere. Logged. The commanding officer is ashore. Exo Presley has the deck.
Captain Hut! At ease. Rear Admiral Mihailovic, 5th Fleet. Admiral, I'm on urgent business with the Citadel. Is there something you need? Let's get one thing clear, Shepard. You might be a specter to the aliens, but to me you're just another junior officer. Be respectful. I command the 63rd Scout Flotilla. You and the Normandy were slated for my unit after shakedown. And the Council got their paws, claws, tentacles, whatever. They got them on our ship and you. I wasn't keen on it either, but there are advantages to being above the law. Don't let the title go to your head. No one's above the law. I don't begrudge the politician's decision to throw you to the Council. It's an opportunity. I do begrudge this over-designed piece of tin, though. This ship saved our lives a dozen times over. An exaggeration. I've read your reports. This experiment diverted billions from our appropriations bills for the same price we could have had a heavy cruiser. But no, we had to make nice to the Turians, throw money at a co-developed boondoggle. I'm here to make an inspection, Commander. Normandy is an Alliance warship. I intend to see she's up to snuff. Normandy is an Alliance warship, but she's on loan to the Citadel. That means she's not in your chain of command. I believe there's something wrong with my ears. Did you just contradict me? This ship is Council property right now. So, respectfully, please clear the gangway. Have it your way, Commander. But expect me to file a report on this. I haven't spent much time with any Krogan before you, Rex. I have to say, you're not what I expected. Right. Because you humans have a wide range of cultures and attitudes. But Krogan all think and act exactly alike. Look, I didn't mean... Just forget I said anything. Done. Commander Shepard? Kalisa bin Sin in Al-Jalani, Westernland News. Would you answer a few questions for our viewers? What sort of questions? People back home have heard a lot of wild stories about you, Commander. I can give you the chance to set the record straight. What do you say? So long as you understand that I may not be able to answer all questions. Humans have been trying to get the respect of the galactic community for 26 years. With that in mind, what are your feelings on being the first human Spectre? I try to keep in mind that it's just another form of duty. I still wear a uniform. But there's a difference between protecting human interests and Citadel interests. Have you encountered any situations where the Citadel asked you to place its needs before the needs of Earth? I think they know not to ask me to work against my own people. I think our viewers will be glad to hear that, Commander. You've been given command of an advanced human warship for your missions. Is there anything you'd like to say about it? The Normandy is a triumph of human engineering. Like our development of fighter carriers, it shows other races that we're able to think outside the box. That's gratifying. Many defeatist officers claim that the Alliance can't compete with the naval power of, say, the Turians. Do you think it was appropriate to hand Earth's most advanced warship over to the Citadel? Miss Algelani, I wear the Alliance uniform. And if you think anyone other than me says where the Normandy can go, you're sadly mistaken. No offense intended, Commander. I'm sure you have to follow the orders of your superiors. Of course, now your superiors are aliens. One last question, Commander. Rumors back home say you're tracking a rogue specter named Saren. Do you have any comment on that? I'm afraid I can't comment on whatever my current assignment may or may not be. Don't worry, we'll find out. The eyes of Earth are on you. Don't let us down. Thank you for your time, Commander Shepard. Message, 
coming in. Patching it through. Commander, Miss Algelani's story on you just aired. I don't agree with everything you said, but at least you gotta run your side. I just hope it doesn't damage relations with the Council. I just told her what she wanted to hear, sir. Convenient for you, but our allies may not think the same. Just wanted to let you know what the response was back home. I won't keep you any longer. Fifth Fleet out. 